everyone, welcome to another learning episode. Last time, I talked about descriptive research and example research titles. Today, I'll be sharing another type of quantitative research design, which is a correlational research design. A correlational research is a type of quantitative research design that investigates relationship between variables without controlling or manipulating any of them. A correlation refers to the strength or the direction of the relationship. The relationship can be either positive correlation or negative correlation. When does a positive correlation happen? A positive correlation happens when both variables change in the same direction. If one variable increases, the other variable increases as well. Or it could be if one variable decreases, then the other variable decreases too. One perfect example for this kind of relationship is the relationship between income and assets. As income increases, assets also increase. We also have the relationship between height and weight. As height increases, weight also increases because um, as we grow taller, our weight tend to be heavier as well. Now let's proceed to the other type of correlation which is the negative correlation. How is negative correlation different from positive correlation? If positive correlation happens when both variables change in the same direction, negative correlation happens if both variables change in the opposite direction. If one variable increases, the second variable decreases or vice versa. One example for this type of relationship is the relationship between coffee consumption and tiredness. As coffee consumption increases, tiredness decreases. Another relationship is the relationship between stress level and life satisfaction. If our stress level decreases, our life satisfaction increases. Then we also have this thing called zero correlation. Zero correlation happens if there is no apparent relationship between two or more variables. For instance, the relationship between height and intelligence. If height increases, it does not affect to any change to a person's intelligence because obviously these two are not correlated. One good thing about doing correlational research is it gives us insight about complex real-world relationships, helping researchers develop theories and predictions. And now we are down to one of the most awaited parts of today's episode. I'll be giving you some sample correlation research titles. Number one, we have Emotional Intelligence and Leadership Practices of School Administrators in the Division of Grande City. So how many variables are we going to measure in this research title? We have two variables in here. First one is the level of emotional intelligence. Second one is the leadership practices. We are going to prepare two instruments for this one. One instrument that measures the emotional intelligence and another instrument that would examine the school administrator's leadership practices. So actually you can change the respondents depending on the field that you are in so it would be fitted to your own context. Second, we have consumer satisfaction and marketing strategies of online sellers. Third, time management and productivity level of working graduate students. Fourth, we have self-actualization and familial involvement of retired working government officials. So these are the sample research titles. As you can see, we are going to measure two variables for each research titles. And at the end of our statement of the problem, we are going to ask if there is a significant relationship between these variables. That's it. That is all about correlational research design. Thank you for watching this learning episode. By the way, we are already 3,580 in this learning community and I am very glad to announce to everyone that last month we were approved for YouTube Partnership Program and if you still want to continue supporting this small YouTube channel, kindly watch the ads since I'll be getting a small revenue for that. And for those who are not subscribed yet, kindly hit that subscribe button so you will be updated whenever we post new learning episodes. So thank you once again and keep on learning!